How to use Coinbase Wallet step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Coinbase Wallet and uh, what features it brings you, how the interface is, how you can add it or download it. And uh, we're just gonna go through all of it. It's gonna be very simple. It's not gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna show you uh, the easiest and simplest way to use it and you're gonna understand it very well. So just hear me out through the whole video and watch it till the end. And by the end, you're gonna know how you can use Coinbase Wallet. So let's get right into it then. So without further ado, obviously we're gonna want to first discuss what Coinbase really is. So Coinbase is uh, basically an uh, exchange website and uh, a cryptocurrency company, which uh, basically helps you buy and sell different types of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other. And you can also stake them if you want to. Coinbase also provides you with NFT stakings. Uh, you can mint your NFTs on Coinbase if you want to. There's many different features that you can do. Now, the Coinbase website, which is coinbase.com, is purely used for trading and exchange purposes. So, for example, if you want to trade NFTs, if you want to buy them, if you want to exchange them, stake them off the market, uh, or just trade different assets using the charts, that it was coinbase.com is for. But today we're not discussing Coinbase.com. We're going to be discussing Coinbase Wallet. Now, what is the difference between Coinbase.com and Coinbase Wallet? So the difference is that Coinbase.com helps us in trading our assets, exchanging our assets. So basically we buy it and keep it in the Coinbase Wallet. So Coinbase Wallet helps us have the self custody of the cryptocurrency we have. We can convert it into different NFTs. We can convert it into different cryptocurrencies and we can use that cryptocurrency we have in our Coinbase wallet to do different things and buy different things. Even if we come in the wiki how we can see Coinbase wallet is a self custody wallet that gives you complete control of your crypto. That means that the private keys for your wallet are stored directly on your mobile device or if you want to add it on your Google, it's going to be on your Google. So basically, you're going to have full control of your cryptocurrency. Coinbase.com does not provide that. That only provides you with trading or exchanging. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, Coinbase wallet can either be on your mobile phone or you can add it as an add-on on your uh, Google or Opera or whatever browser you use. Like it's just like uh, Nami wallet. If you're familiar with Nami wallet, as you can see, we can connect our Nami wallet to our Opera or Google as an add on. And over here, as you can see, my crypto can be displayed. So just like that, we're just going to go and add this on. Now, obviously, I'm uh, on my laptop. You can do this on your mobile phone as well. Just the downloading process is different. The rest is just the same. So see, you can either download it for iOS, you can download it for Android, or you can download it for Chrome. So obviously I'm gonna go with Chrome, but you can also download it for iOS or Android. So we're just gonna download it. Now it's gonna take me to the Chrome store and I'm gonna add it. And as you can see, it says add extension. So we're just gonna add it on. It's gonna take some time. Now, this is the only process that's different from the iOS and Android. Over this, you need to add it to your browser. And in iOS and Android, you need to actually go and download it from their uh, corresponding stores. Once you've done that, from here on out, the processes are pretty much the same. Just the interface is different. So, our Coinbase has been added. Coinbase Wallet has been added. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go on our extensions or add-ons. We're just going to pin this right here. And here you can see the Coinbase wallet extension has added. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to wait for it to load up. So here you're going to see it says create a new wallet or I already have a wallet. So let's start with a new one. Let's create a new wallet. And it says that you need to back up your wallet. So obviously here's going to be these 12 security words that you're just going to copy to your clipboard. You're going to do I understand and you're going to go ahead then the 12 keywords they give you, you just need to cross check them over here so you can verify yourself. So I'm just going to do that real quick and be right back. So now that you have verified yourself, you're going to create a password. So obviously we're going to create a password. Try to make it the same as what your uh, Coinbase account password is like. Uh, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. 
for a Coinbase wallet, obviously you're going to need to have a proper Coinbase.com account. And I'll get into that right now as well, because obviously you're going to need to have a Coinbase.com from which you can transfer your crypto to your Coinbase wallet. So we're just going to submit our password. So now it's just creating our wallet and look at that. Your wallet is ready. Join 1.3 million users and claim your free username. So you can do it right now uh, or you can just do it later. I'll do it later. So once all of that is done, here you go. Your Coinbase wallet is set it up and ready to go. Now, as you can see, it says buy swap or whatever you can buy cryptocurrencies over here swap it with different cryptos you can bridge it if you want to you can send it to someone if you want to you can receive it it's basically a proper wallet that you have it's a type of a bank account that you have over here regarding crypto so obviously uh to get started you're gonna add crypto but before moving on we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go and click on add and manage wallets now we're just gonna go on this wallet now, obviously, you're going to go on the connections and we're going to have to connect it to our Coinbase account. So I'm just going to open my original Coinbase.com over here. So this uh, is uh, where we're just going to wait for it to load up. So once this loads up, this is your, gonna be your basic Coinbase.com homepage. If you don't have this, obviously, you're going to go and create it for yourself. Now, once you've created it and uh, you can just go on your assets, obviously I don't have any right now, but once you go on your assets, you're gonna have your bot crypto. If you don't have your any crypto or assets in your Coinbase account, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're just gonna go on trade. Obviously there's some uh, connection issue on the website right now, but once you go on trade, you're just gonna see all the different assets over here regarding Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Litecoin, BNB, uh, all those coins will show up over here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna basically buy any single one of them. And uh, what that will do is it will store it in your assets. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go on your Coinbase wallet and uh, when you're over here you're gonna either click on buy or add crypto and now from here you can either transfer it from another wallet for example if you have nami wallet right here and you want to transfer it to your coinbase wallet you're just going to click on transfer from other wallet and you're going to see different addresses your ethereum address or your solana address depending on what kind of crypto you're transferring so you're just going to take this address and you're going to go to your nami wallet and uh, you're going to go on send once you go on send, you're going to write the address over here. You're just going to paste it. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, just send the any amount of crypto. And like in a few minutes, your crypto will be deposited in this wallet. But this is if you want to transfer it from another wallet. If you want to add crypto from your Coinbase account, what you're going to want to do is click on add crypto with Coinbase Pay. Now it's going to take you to Coinbase Pay. And over here, you're gonna have to verify your account. So, and which is gonna be your main coinbase.com account. So you're just gonna verify it and it's gonna send a seven digit code to the phone number you have placed. So we're just gonna see that seven digit code and we're gonna put it in. So mine is this. And now I'm gonna ask it to verify for me. And once we're verified, what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna say that Coinbase wallet has access to your Coinbase account. Debit money from your account will be sent. You can buy crypto, access to account information, etc. You can go through all of this if you want to. And then you're just gonna click on authorize. What this will do is it will authorize your Coinbase.com account. What this will do is it will authorize your Coinbase.com account with your Coinbase wallet. And from there on out, you can transfer your Coinbase.com assets to your Coinbase wallet. So now that we're here, it says identity verification required. Now for this, you're obviously going to need to verify your ID and for that you're going to verify your documents, which is going to be your passport or some other type of picture. Uh, yeah, and once you do that, uh, you're just going to get verified. And once all of that is done, you're just going to go on the Coinbase pay option where it says transfer your assets to your account or your wallet. And yeah, you're just going to transfer it. You're going to put in the address that I showed you if it asks you to. And now what's going to happen is the crypto you have bought, the money or the fiat currency of that crypto will be transferred to this wallet. Like, for example, if you have one Ethereum, which goes off for, I think, 1200 right now. So you're just going to send one Ethereum to your Coinbase wallet and it will send $1,200 to your wallet. 
And from here on out, you can send it to someone, you can bridge it, you can swap that currency with some other currency if you'd like to. And yeah, that's basically it. And you can also buy it directly from here. You don't really have to go to your Coinbase.com account again and again or Coinbase Pay again and again. So yeah, that's uh, crypto. And one more thing, you can also buy NFTs if you want to and you can mint them straight from your wallet. And that's a great feature that Coinbase Wallet provides you with. And you can do all of this, as I said, only the downloading and interface is different. All the processes, other than the downloading are the same when it comes to Coinbase Wallet. So you can do all of these things on your mobile phone as well on Apple or Android. So you can also mint and buy NFTs straight from your wallet or you can even DeFi. If you don't know what DeFi is, I have a video on that. It's basically decentralized financial system. So you can go and watch a video on that. I have that on my channel uh, to make sense of it. So yeah. That's basically what the Coinbase wallet does. These are obviously your asset management. You can also go into transactions and see different transactions you've made from your wallet to somewhere. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the gist of uh, how you work around with your Coinbase wallet and that's how simple and easy it is. So I hope this video was easy for you and I hope you have figured out how you can use your Coinbase wallet. And if you have any issues or queries with the video, please let me know down in the comments. I will help you as soon as I can. If you want to see more videos related to crypto or uh, different types of wallets, uh, please let me know. I'll make more for you. And until then, just like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Share this video with anyone in need and leave a nice comment if you enjoyed the video. And uh, after that, uh, yeah, that's basically all from me. I hope you all keep having a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.